Now I tuned in to something super tight Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shy No, I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos When Juju was here, I got a question mm-hmm. He mentioned, did you see the Juju interview on here? I seen a little bit of it Okay, did you see where he mentioned that his dream for Circle was to add Too Short and E-40 to the song instead of Young Nation. Do you remember that conversation with mm-hmm. him? Talk about it. Wasn't really nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> you said, uh-uh. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't want them on the record. I didn't want them on the initial record. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe the remix was not the initial. Yeah. Yeah, got you. But even with the, when the remix came, it was like, niggas like YG was like, Mm-hmm. Tweeting this and then bringing me out, I was like, "Shit, we can, yeah, yeah, swing up there." Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So more relevant. They they were more relevant at that time. It, to me, it wasn't relevance. I honestly wasn't all the way educated on forty or short at the time. Really? Uh-uh. Blow the whistle was hot at that time. But I'm bro. I was born in ninety one. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't in the club when that was in the club, so I didn't get the I didn't get to see the effect mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. I heard it on radio. It was you know. It wasn't blow the whistle coming out two thousand something though, didn't it? That was yeah, his last hit. Still real young. Mm, I um, still, I still young. Yeah, yeah, he was young. So I, don't, I, don't, I don't Ten? know the, the, but most definitely don't know the club effect of forty and um short. Yeah, but I would have did it just for nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 I understand where where you're going with that because it was, I guess if somebody came to me and bought me somebody short, that, short for sure, I would have done at that time. At that time, short was coming off all that little young shit. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he was hot, and then he dropped his biggest song of all time, which was "Blow the Whistle." You know, what I'm saying we we had came up on short. I remember "Blow Job Betty." I remember uh, "Freaky Tales," all that shit from mm-hmm. he, from uh, "Born the Mac." You know, what I'm saying so. Um, so I was familiar with all the hits that he had given us, but then when he gave us that song, and that to be the biggest, that was his, to me that was his last song, almost like uh, Marvin Gaye's "Sexual Healing." You know what I'm saying? That was his last song. Bad motherfucker. Yeah, it was a bad motherfucker. That's where I'm going with it. Yeah. So, so who was initially on Circle? See, people don't even know this. Oh, tell the story. The first Super person, tight exclusive. The first person that that gave me a verse to Circle was Emmy. Mm-hmm. Emmy had danced like a stripper at the time. Oh yeah. And it was the hottest shit. Just mm. period. It was just. Mm. Come on, y'all. Y'all remember? Oh what yeah. It was? Like it was. It was crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So. I ended up having to do a session with, with Young Nation. We was going to do a song for a song. Okay. And and when I got there, I knocked their song out. But they had to go. Mm-hmm. But I had already been sitting on the hook of Circle. I had I already knew what it was. Yeah. I knew what it was. Mm-hmm. Before I do my verse on it, I knew what it was. My friends told us you had that belt for you. Had it. I knew exactly what it was because I had the concept three years in my head before mm-hmm. I even got the beat that went with it. I already knew what it was. Yeah. So I just took my time with it. And I was like, you know what? Here, throw, y'all, throw a verse in this little pocket. I got an open verse. Yeah. Poop was like, put fresh on that motherfucker too. Mm. That oh, my really? little brother. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Mm-hmm. And he came with it. Oh, yeah. Every time. Oh, yeah. That's why I made the beat. It's just clapping on fresh part. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I went and broke all this shit down and made sure like to put him in, in between Nation because Nation yes. at the time was running Texas. Yes, they was. Mm-hmm. Yes, they were. I ain't Hot. never seen a movement. And they was kids. At the time, you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. They are, they are a year younger than me, so we all really kids, but they are a year younger than me, and they, I'm looking at them. Yeah, I'm right there watching them niggas do what they doing. So I'm like, nah, I gotta get nation on this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I heard you was in uh, Atlanta when the song dropped. Yep. So how was that being? In we was in Atlanta working with um, Mr. Hanky, City Under Siege. We was at. Holly Park Studios. Mm. Um, we did a record. No, we did two records. Cause I was in there like, bro, I just dropped some shit. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then numbers. This when YouTube, nobody wasn't doing no numbers. I'm like, yeah. bro, yeah. this bitch got a hundred thousand in less than yeah, yeah, yeah. In less than a month. Wow. It's rolling. Yeah, that's viral back then. Yeah, that's way. Viral. The whole situation was they were trying to get us worked in with Epic. Oh, okay. But they wanted to do. Is this records. Juju? 
No, no, poop? no, no. I'm yeah, June and poop okay. in the in the next room. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Running, got it going record. So we in there recording. Yeah, but we learning the game. Yes. You like, man? Why they want new records? Why they want new records? So, so when you say they, who is they? You got no. You just talking about the ANRs at the A&Rs time. The, the ones, people the that's ones. finna walk us in. Okay, gotcha. They want new records. So they want new records. They want to be able to walk in with something that they ANR. Which now I'm so far out in the game, I get it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, at yeah. the time I was like, why? I, yeah, I feel yeah. like niggas are just imposing their will on me, which they should have. Like, now I got you out here, nigga. I'm finna try to plug you in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, That's the game. I'm a writer on this right, or something. Right, like, I'm, right. I'm gonna come here and be like, no, no, I switch this up. And that was the game at yeah, the time. Yeah. Now they own a the record, got credits for the record. Yeah. They get a signing bonus, which first, you getting signed. Yeah. Like, I get that's that. So that's why they fought for that. Right. Me, I was like, I don't like that song. Mm-hmm. What kind of song was it? It was a Texas twerk song. It was terrible though. <laughs> a, Texas a Texas twerk, twerk, song? twerk song. Aren't all songs Texas twerk songs? No, no. Okay. it was literally, it was literally a country record. Country. It was a country. Um, like banjo. Oh, mm. uh, baseline maybe. And, and it was a good listen. It was a good song. <laughs> But it wasn't on brand for what I do. I, was, I knew I knew who I was already, bro. Yeah, like yeah, I wasn't yeah. in there chasing like. Yeah, I ain't looking for. I wasn't chasing that. Right. I wasn't chasing it. Yeah, I wasn't confused with like my brand and what I was already building. I was like, Your that's li- literally left. Like nobody right. back home gonna support that. And if it falls through on back home, it ain't yeah. gonna matter. This radio all over here. Yeah, they and then once tripping. y'all do that radio shit, I'm gonna be this top tier artist that right. nobody like. Like, yeah. no, I'm not right. going to do myself yeah. that. Yeah. And was they, were they, I don't know if you can speak on them, were they a and from Epic? They worked at Epic at the time. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was big of you. Because that was a lot good, of people but, but that would have just failed. He, he, been he like, made his move. I felt the way at the time. Yeah. But now I don't. I get it. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You can't get mad because he's shooting, trying to, you know, yeah, but trying to help. He was trying to help. His, yeah. He was trying to help me help him. Yeah. And help mm. him. It was going to be just that. Just that. But it was Either like, way, man, I wasn't going to. you pop, it's good for him. So yeah, that's not job. like. They want you to be successful. That's so I know it wasn't. Oh, yeah. They ain't yeah, step on But record. at the same time. Yeah, you I, I ran back into him. Uh, to <laughs> Shy City. Uh, <laughs> Shy City Under Siege. Uh, I ran back into City. He was working at um um the Rock Nation office. Oh, really? Oh, really? So Shy Troy mm-hmm. Marshall, too. Troy Marshall had me out there and. Uh, and and we was just in a meeting. I was in a meeting with them, just up there mm. chopping shit. And we was laughing about that time. Wow! So the how game's do good. I don't know the game yeah. twist. It's 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 crazy how small it is though. Oh, oh for sure. That's true. It's a small world. Mm-hmm. Shit, I remember back in the day, motherfuckers would shelf you because if mm. you burned the wrong bridge, you said, so, "Oh yeah, you going to a meeting or some clown or something? Yeah, you get shelved." The next thing though, that's where blackballing. Yeah, that was the first. Steps of blackballing you. Yeah. Next thing, you mean the fuck. early canceling, and early yeah, cancel exactly. culture. It's, yes. it's, but it's never. It's the same. Was that more so on the bigger side? Yes. See, that's why. I, that's now. I say this. That's why I always love my journey. I ain't never signed no major. I'm thinking the major will shelf sh- sh- you, and then that just fucks it all up for you. Mm-hmm. you know I, listen, I remember very vividly. We had a major situation. <laughs> We were shooting it the first time we shot circle. We were shooting circle. We shot it twice. Okay. People, people that was there know they were like, man, what happened to the with the pool in the in the gym? And the, <laughs> me, and what Ju, me and Ju was like, I was like, I can't do it. You don't like this. This ain't it. This it ain't too it. Shiny. It, nah, it was. It just wasn't it. It wasn't it. It was, it just it was very it. regular. Mm, yeah. It was. It was very typical with better cameras. Okay, mm. I feel you. I was like, nah, bro, I'm coming different. He yeah. like, God damn it, Ronnie. <laughs> you look good. Come on, bro. Oh, God damn. Oh, man. Hey, Juju. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you but had your vision, though. I had my vision. And then him and Pook was like, you know what, nigga? Find a, a videographer that can get it done. Me yeah. and Pint went and found him. Mm-hmm. Bro charged us. And people going to be. Alpha male visual charged us Go. For, for Circle. It was fourteen hundred dollars, and then we paid for all the other shit that came with it. That's cool. But his video fee was four, bro. Go watch that video. Wow. Oh yeah, I want to go give him some more. Mm-hmm. I end up shooting <laughs> more videos with him. Like we shot, I shot a twenty thousand dollar video mm-hmm. with him, a fifteen thousand dollar. So he ended up making bread, yeah, bread yeah. with me. But yesterday's price is it. not yeah. today's price at all. But that nigga at that time for what he was doing yeah. and what he was capable of, yeah, his craft was great. 
Oh, yeah, I appreciate him for that blessing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and we went and did that, and, and that's that a was big the, song. that was the bad motherfucker. That's but a big song. At the first, at the first video, it was a deal on the table. Mm-hmm. I remember. Promove. It wasn't epic. I don't believe it was somebody. epic. But Jew was like, Jew was like, we gotta take it. Come on, what we gonna do? We gonna take it. He's like, they only giving us this, but we gonna get in. Hell no. For that. Now, now. What, 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 the bag was too small? Bro. Or, or the terms and conditions? It wasn't. It, I didn't know the terms and conditions. So mm-hmm. all I heard was the number. Okay. And. What was the number running? 40. Them 1998 numbers. 40. Them 1989 And we numbers. were talking circle. Nah, no. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I always say I know I made the right decision yeah. it, but Jew Jew was so clear about it he was like it's on you it's on you what you want to do he, he kept at you show he like all we, he's like bro bro our whole point is to get in yeah and I understood that but I was like nah we ain't we ain't it depends desperate. on who you get in mm-hmm. with though I'm like we ain't desperate who, were you, who was your ideal label at that time too? I didn't have an ideal label I didn't even know all the major I still to this day don't know all the motherfuckers yeah fuck them Mm. <laughs> I make too Damn much boy. bread hand in hand, foot in mm-hmm. foot, off yeah. of just the years of consistent, right, yes. good quality entertainment and that business. I put out yes. and, and and solid business. Shout out poop, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I do solid yeah. business. Like yeah. these folks are handling business with me hand in hand today. That's beautiful. You see what I'm saying? And it's like what for that part. It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.